oh, I've got to find Dr. Romano. I was just getting the coffee, and the girl working in the coffee shop, she asked me a organic chemistry question. I wanted to pass it on to Dr. Romano. I sent it to him last night. Dr. Romano, is that you? Oh, I guess he doesn't hear me or he's ignoring me. Hey, Dr. Romano. Hi. Did you get that question I sent you last night? I was in the coffee shop and a girl asked me an organic question. I sent it to you. Were you able to get to it yet? Yes, I did. It's the craziest thing. Um, I'm here in Norfolk, Virginia, and I'm going to a Starbucks, and I don't know how a girl knew me, but she asked me to do a question for her that was on her exam. She said it was worth 14 points, and she basically told me she has to build on a few carbons. She said there was an aldehyde at one end of a four karma compound and an alcohol at the other. And she said it was a straight up Grignard. The minute I heard that, I knew it was curtains for the kid because you had to use a special type of technique called protecting group. So come around and let me show you. Okay, how, how, Dr. Armando, let what, me get around here and see what you've up to. This is what was described. You took this compound and as you can see here, if I call this number one, number two, number three, and number four. And you wanted to convert it into this compound. I also made another twist on it, but let's just look at this. If you call this four, and this is the four, this is the three, this is the two, and this is the one, it looks like we have to build an ethyl group off of this carbonyl. So very simply, we're gonna use a Grignard like the girl suggested, but you can't do a Grignard if there's an acidic proton, so what you had to do is protect it. So. What I did is I took the compound that was the starting material and I treated it with something known as trimethylsilyl chloride. And all you would simply do is split off the HCl and lock on your protecting group. Now the group is protected, so the OH group won't react with the Grignard. Since we add two carbons, I'm going to bring in a two-carbon ethyl magnesium chloride. That's going to add on the ethyl group make the carbonyl into the alcohol, and the second step, the acid knocks off the protecting group and regenerates back the OH, and we would get 1,4-hexane diol. And then once you got that, the second part is easy. That's a simple oxidation. You're going to take the 1,4-hexane diol, hit it with PCC, and you're going to oxidize it, and you're going to get this oxidative product, a great name for you to practice for the DAT, we have six carbons, aldehyde gets the priority, the ketone is the oxo group, so it's 4 oxo hexanal. You have two good problems for the DAT, sure bet to see on the exam. I got a, problem, a few problems like this on the 2018 Destroyer, so go check it out, and I'll catch you in study group. Okay, Dr. Romano, I'm going to have a salad today. You'll be proud. Can I bring you something back? No. All right, bye-bye. An apple for the teacher. Good day to you, sir. Good day. Take care. Bye.